Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Elaine. Today I'm going to share my November bullet journal setup. I have a good news. I'm going to launch my Etsy shop in a few weeks, probably in the middle of November. Recently, I have been working on making some sticker sheets. I have a few designs that include things like everyday objects and some friend art with Bible verses. Today, I'm going to try out my new sticker sheets in my November setup. Like before, I'm using layout templates for each page, then printing them out and、uh, pasting them into my notebook pages. I will put these planner layout templates in my shop too, along with my stickers. So if you are interested to save some time to draw the layout, don't forget to check out my shop when it launches soon. Let's get started. I'm tearing off the pages from an old book to have some texture for the background on my cover page. Then I'm using washi tape to decorate this design. Now I'm using stickers from my tea time and the lovely afternoon collection. I really like drawing these small everyday objects, like a kitchenware, teapots, candles, cups, books, food jars, and the flowers and the plants. Arranging these stickers on the page, it's very fun to decorate with these stickers. Now to finish the look, I'm writing the title as November and adding some drop shadows. Next is the monthly calendar. Same as before, I'm tearing some pages from an old book to make this quote page. I designed these stickers with friend art, along with some different Bible verses. I'm choosing the sticker with the Bible verse, "The Lord is with me; I will not be afraid." Sometimes we will feel afraid because we don't know what will happen in the future. But I know that my Lord is with me whenever I go, so I don't need to feel afraid. How wonderful that feeling is! Now I'm using wash tape. And my everyday object sticker sheet to complete the look. Then I'm using different colors to draw circles for the dates. Then adding some more stickers on the bottom of the calendar. Finally, I'm writing the dates and、uh, drawing some lines around the pages to finish the look. Next is the monthly planner and the books to read pages. I'm using this header illustration sticker sheets to decorate these two pages. First, I'm drawing some lines in the background for these stickers. Then 
and I'm putting my stickers on these lines to create a cohesive look. Now I'm writing titles on these stickers to make some of a handmade feeling. This book's to read spread is my new design. I think this design is very cute and uh, fun to use. I will include these printable in my shop too. The next two pages are my new goal setting designs. I found that using goal setting planners are very useful for me. I especially love to use this kind of layout in which I can choose different weeks, like 4 weeks, 8 weeks, or 12 weeks to better plan my goals. Next, I'm making the habit tracker and the mood tracker. I'm still using torn pages from the old book and the wash tape to decorate these pages, then putting some stickers on them. Because this month only has 30 days, so I'm using a small cupcake sticker to cover the number 31 on this printable. I think this is an easy and a simple way to do it. Here I'm making a color code and uh, drawing some different faces to indicate the different moods. Next is the movies and the TV tracker and uh, another quote page. This is the free printable for you this month. Please check out the link down below in the description to get it. I hope you will like this new printable. Now I'm making another quote page using my rectangle sticker sheets. I'm writing two quotes on this page. The first one is Every moment is a fresh beginning by T.E. Eliot. The second one is Whenever you do, do it well by Walt Disney. I really need some inspiration for this month. So I'm adding an extra quote page to remind myself. Do you feel that as the weather gets cold, sometimes it's hard to stay motivated? What do you think? Leave a comment down below to let me know if the weather sometimes affects your mood like it does for me. Next, I'm making a weekly planner and my first weekly spread. It's so fun to place these stickers on the weekly layout. Since these empty places on the layout are just the right feet for my stickers. It looks like my daily boxes are sitting on the shelves along with these everyday objects. The background for these stickers are wooden textures. I'm drawing the pages using Coyola Super Tips markers to make it look like wood too. So the stickers and the pages will look more put together. 
I'm very happy about how this turned out. It's so beautiful and fun. The next pages are another weekly planner and the second weekly spread. Since these fill in the blank boxes are very easy to use, I decided to use this spread twice for this month. If you like this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Your support is very important for me. Also, please check out my Instagram if you would like. I post every page from my bullet journals there. The link is in the description. making the third weekly spread. Here I'm using the two-page weekly layout. I really like this layout since it has a lot of spaces to write my tasks. I especially like the mini tracker that helps reinforce my habits for the month. It's also so cute to look at. What do you think? If you want more bullet journal ideas, check out my Pinterest boards. I have a whole section for bullet journal ideas there. The link is also in the description. Next is my fourth weekly spread. I'm also using the two-page weekly layout for this page. I really like this layout which is the reason I always choose to use this one. Tearing the paper is very satisfying when I'm making this setup. Oh, I also have a free 13-page floral planner kit printable and uh, some other free printables like the mood tracker and the self-care planner that I made for you. If you haven't already downloaded these printables, please check the free download link down below. Finally, I'm making my last weekly spread. This is a two-page weekly spread. On these two pages, I'm using the Coyola Super Tape Marker to make a wooden texture again. Since my marker has already almost dried out after I drew too much with this color, it shows the wooden texture even better with this dried out effect. Do you like to set up the whole month's weekly spreads in the beginning of the monthly setup? Please comment down below to share your thoughts. I'm very curious to know how you make your planners. This is the final flick through for my setup for this month. I hope you like this sticker thing and get some inspiration from it too. Don't forget to download the free movie and the TV show tracker that I made for you. I hope you will enjoy using it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!